On this episode of United States of America, I'm where a lot of Americans wish they were right now, Canada. I'm going to find out why that is, and maybe also find out whatever she's doing. I got into show business so I can stop sweeping. That's right, this week it's United Shades of North America, and I'm headed to Canada to see if it's really the progressive dream a lot of Americans think it is. Also, this happens. Like a lot. My name is W. Kamau Bell. As a comedian, I've made a living finding humor in the parts of America I don't understand. And now, I'm challenging myself to dig deeper. I'm on a mission to reach out and experience all the cultures and beliefs that add color to this crazy country. This is the United Shades of America. One thing our countries have in common is a love of sports. It's just sometimes we love different sports. Sure, Canada loves basketball and football, kinda. But their national pastime is hockey, not baseball. And Canada has one sport that is exclusively owned by them. Well, until this year's Olympics it was. Am I right, gold medal? I already feel like I'm not good at this. Now, while curling is a sport that originated in 16th century Scotland, it's now as Canadian as being wary of Americans who want to move to Canada. Curlers from all over the world come to Canada to compete year-round. They even put their curling heroes on stamps. Hi. Now, well, welcome to the Royal Canadian Curling Club. Thank you. This is Chad McMullen, a former manager of the World Curling Players Federation, a thing I didn't even know existed until I just said it. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do in Canada when we're not playing hockey. Okay. It's, it's two teams, four people per team, trying to slide their stones as close as they can to the center of the rings. Mm -hmm. And basically, kind of like an inning in baseball, you add up the points, and whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. And then you go to the bar. And then you go to the bar. Yeah, I do notice there's kind of a bowling lane vibe here. Does it take up sort of a similar space as bowling does sometimes, of like leagues and people doing it after work and that kind of thing? It's similar in that regard. It's a lot of league play and then hanging out after with your opponents. We've got a program called Rocks and Rings that we take into the schools. We're just trying to reach more people so it's not the same people all the time that are that are playing the sport. And by the same people, who do you mean? I mean white people. Okay. <laughs> the sport is very white. I okay. mean, there is no, there's no getting around that. It's probably yeah. whiter than golf. Now, that's saying a lot. A white man who is comfortable talking about his whiteness in a non-threatening way? Canada does that better than the U.S. I mean, golf has Tiger Woods. We don't even have a Tiger Woods yet. There's no Tiger Woods. You could be our first one, maybe. Oh, here. today. We'll Depends find out. Today goes. What if I find out that this is the thing I should be doing? What if I retire from this show because I find out I'm the greatest natural curler in the world? You start working on a passport tomorrow. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Are you the only black curler in Canada? Uh, there are two of us. No, okay. seriously. <laughs> Where are you from originally? That doesn't sound like a Canadian accent. Uh, I'm originally from Jamaica. You say you grew up curling in Jamaica, of course. Of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys have the bobsled team. I saw the movie. I watched curling on television for a couple of years. Yeah. It was so intriguing. And what was intriguing about it to you? It's, it's like chess on ice. Smarter than you think it is. It is way more wow. than you imagine. And so when you tell people in Jamaica that you're doing this, do they do They think they I'm insane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those Canadians, they changed you. So, a helpful tip. <laughs> a helpful tip is if you stay low to the ice, yeah. it'll hurt less when you fall. Oh, good. Yeah. Because <laughs> okay. you know I'm going to fall. Is that what you're saying? This is Abby Darnley. Okay, she got stuck teaching me, but because she's Canadian, she's being nice about it. You're going to stick your butt in the air. There we go. I can do that. Okay. Left foot slides back a little bit. And then the left foot's going to slide forward into a nice lunge. Perfect. Like that? Yeah, exactly. Okay. These Perfect. jeans are too tight. I'm blaming the jeans. Okay, I think it's the jeans. I'll yes. go with you on that. These are my skinny jeans. I should have worn my, my, my dad my jeans. Leg, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do it this time with a rock. Okay. And slide it forward. There we go. There whoa, we go. Whoa, whoa, camera guy down. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, Patrick. <laughs> Nothing against you personally. You know I love you. Patrick still hasn't forgiven me. Okay, either I'm out of shape or this is more athletic than I suspected. Okay. Which is it? Probably a combination of both. That's very nice of you. <laughs> Even Abby's laughter is polite. So now I'm going to make you feel really out of shape. We're going to sweep. Okay. You're trying to melt ice. Okay. So when you're sweeping, you also have to keep up to the rock. Okay. And you can't touch the rock. So this is basically the way you treat the actual Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Keep up with the rock. Don't touch the rock. <laughs> That's how his assistant works. 
and start walking. Oh, that was the wrong way. I should have gone this way. <laughs> We're in play. <laughs> okay. Am I ready to play a game? Yeah, I think you're ready. Watch the rock. Watch the rock. Wait, <laughs> did you see that? I'm going to rewind that part. Didn't even fall. Oh, damn it. Perfect. <laughs> That's my signature move, my Michael Jordan jump man, doing a black power fist on ice. Wow, it's gonna make it. Was that good? I'm gonna choose to believe that was good. So there you have it, my Jamaican friend. You're not alone. Now there's three black curlers in Canada. All right, now I'm gonna go change these pants. <laughs>